Ahoy! Ahoy! And welcome to day 22 of the Foley Van build. Beautiful morning. We're just about to head to our favorite store to get that trip over with. Bunnings! Bunnings! Forgot a couple things yesterday, so I'm just gonna go pick those up. Ooh, we finished the back of the bed. Let's show them that. So oh. those what? Oh. are on hinges and they'll flip down. So kind of behind there is for some storage. Put like linens or bedding and stuff in there. So I've been thinking, life has a few great milestones. Like the day you're born, or your first kiss, when you get your first car, when you graduate, get married, all those cool things. Add one to the list. The day you install a set of rollers, it does that. Soft clothes. Welcome to day 23 of the build, and it is painting day. Retouching, repainting. Um, we have to return the drop saw and the air nailer to our buddy Jake today. So we're just gonna make sure we get as much done as we can. Um, gotta finish these slat walls with the pine lining. So obviously it's way easier doing it with the air nailer and the drop saw. And we got this wall up and we framed in the little pocket door. So that pulls across and just seals off the cab and it just sits on some rollers that we got just in, in a little kind of pocket door fashion. But we use drawer rollers instead of actual pocket door hardware because it's just too bulky and takes up too much space. And it's just a light door anyway, so. And much cheaper. Pocket door hardware is expensive. More expensive than I thought. Spray painting. All oh, that beautiful prep Kristen did. We obviously didn't want to get any spray paint on the windows. It's kind of how we're just finishing off the metal that was all raggedy. So it's starting to look good. In the back doors will do the same. We just did the tongue and groove pine lining. Kristen painted it. This one's all done too. Dap sand paint. Dap sand paint. I'm working on the cupboard doors for the kitchen. The hardest part is just getting the sizing right before we start putting the hinge holes and stuff. So we got a couple hours left and then we gotta return the drop saw air nailer. Hours according to one hour. Oh yeah, we have one hour. <laughs> this will be our only day that we're finishing early. Up until like 10 every night. So tonight we won't be, we're going to a little Christmas party, so. Ahoy everybody! And it is, what day is it? The day is day 24. The day is Christmas day 24, Eve. which means it's the 24th of December, which means it's Christmas Eve, which doesn't stop us from needing to do work on the van. But we went to a Christmas party last night. We did go to a Christmas party last night, which and was I fun. Had, yeah, it was fun. Um, but we're gonna do some work today. It's okay, I'll wait. I'll wait until you're done. Oh, you done? So we got work to do on the van. It is Christmas Eve, so maybe we'll try to keep the noise down. I say try to, but probably we'll just continue doing what we've been doing, which is annoying everybody in the neighborhood. Sorry, neighborhood. But whatever. It looks like it's gonna be a cool Christmas Eve day. About 18 degrees. Which is a lot warmer than it would have been in Canada anyway. So that's pretty sweet still. And actually, I prefer this temperature for working on the van. Otherwise, she gets pretty hot. To do today. So we did some spray painting yesterday. I think it turned out really good. You can see along the edges here. Painted all that up. Painted these back doors. I think he's more excited about the van than me. <laughs> I 
this out guys. Christmas came early the other day and we got our awning. Nice four wheel drive Super Senate. This guy shipped it out to us. So it's a pretty good deal. It's a 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter awning. So it's got good, good coverage. So it'll go all down the side of the van. Whoops. So it's just gonna mount up on the top there. Give us some much needed shade in Australia. So today is the day. Today's the day I'm hooking up the power. Hooking up the power, I'm gonna wire up the outlets, put the lights in. It's probably a good thing I didn't do it before because I was just uh, confirmed with the guy that I bought the charge controller from and it's uh, the load out is 24 volts. But I bought these little kind of tea light small 12 volt down lights. Where are they? Uh, uh. Yeah, I just got these little guys. They were cheap, they're only like five bucks. Um, but they're just 12 volt down lights. So I don't want to blow out all my bulbs running 24 volts. So my solution, even though I already wired up my breakers and everything, of course, is that I'm gonna use one of these guys. So that is a little transformer. It's a 10 to 40 watt. This was only like $12, whereas the one up was 150 watt. No, 105 watt, and that was uh, like 60 bucks or something. So I just went bought just the little the 380 lumen 5.5 watt lights. Obviously the 5.5 watts times six. What is that? Like I can't do the math right now. 22, 33. Yeah, something like that. So. Yeah, so that's a bit better option than actually having to uh, buy them more. And it was bigger. The other transformer was like, it's just a, yeah, wouldn't really fit in the in the space that we have. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I'd rather go with this solution because I don't want to have to pay a bunch of money and do a bunch of work to fix it all. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome to day 25. Ahoy, or should we say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Day 25 means it's December 25th. Yeah, so Merry Christmas everybody. But even though it's Christmas, we're still working on the van because we only got about five days left before we got to be out of here and before we want to be done. It's already like, what time is it? I don't know. It's like three o'clock or four o'clock or something. So. We've already been working for a while today. We did some painting on this door. Kristen did an unreal job taping everything, prepping it so that we didn't spray paint the whole nicely tinted window. So we painted all the metal, did some electrical. Ooh, check this out. We stoked. Got the, got the switches in. Got the dimmer on this guy for the lights. Tablet and phone, USB ports. We also got a little door now for our yep. porta potty. Woo! A porta potty spot. So, what I'm gonna do now is turn on the inverter. Hopefully, nothing explodes. I'm scared. It's on. 240. Looking good so far. I'm gonna turn on the breaker to the plugs. Hopefully nothing explodes. I'm scared, don't do it. <laughs> nothing happened, which is good. Now I gotta test out the plugs. We found this lamp on the side of the road. <laughs> oh wait, you gotta flip this switch on the lamp. Oh yeah. Uh, it works! <laughs> 7 p.m. on Christmas Day. We haven't had any dinner, but what are we doing? Good time to get the sink in. Look at that. Oh, 
I asked Joe to read the instructions for this and he said, I've used it many times before for household plumbing. So that smells horrible and it says poison on it. So if you're using this at home, read the directions. Thanks. Joe also makes everything look easy. If I was doing this, it would be a hot mess of blue everywhere. Boom! Went from a 50 mil to a, I honestly don't even know what that is, but it's close enough to get this hose on it. Yeah. Bunch of reducers, bunch of pipes, but that's not bad for like six or seven different connections. Hello guys, Ahoy. welcome to day 26. Day 26, boxing, boxing day. day. They don't have boxing day sales. Really. Yeah, we were really hoping for a boxing day sale because we bought a vent fan. <laughs> Everybody else has fancy, fantastic, what's it called? Fantastic fans, it's vents, whatever. Fantastic, vent, fantastic vents. We just bought a basic one. It was 150 bucks. It wasn't too bad. It's got a little fan on it. We realized this probably not too late, but much earlier in the project, we should have put one in before we did the ceiling and everything, but it's Australia, it's hot, and it cools off at night, which means condensation, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're getting a ceiling vent and a fan. We're gonna put it in. We got some, some installation here. Drawers, magnetic catches. Oh my god. This magnetic clip is too strong for me. Oh. <laughs> it's time to wreck our nice pine ceiling. We cut a huge hole in it. Why? Why would you do such a thing? For air circulation, ceiling fan. So what I did here on the underside was I started out by drilling, there's a, a structural beam that goes here, and then obviously this is the back of the van. So I went kind of center, and center on our middle slat, I drilled a hole up through the bottom and through the roof, so that way when I went on the roof I could see where my center was. Laid out the ceiling vent on the roof, then drilled all the corner pilot holes. Um, I cut the top with a hacksaw, and then once I exposed this underside, I drilled from the roof down for my four corners. And now I'm just taking a jigsaw and I'm cutting this out and that will expose the ceiling. Go here, cut myself a nice hole. As you can see, it's friggin' nerve wracking doing this. Um, it also sounded like yeah, it sounded like yeah, like the world was gonna end because the jigsaw cutting the metal. Anyway. Maybe that's just because we're watching Stranger Things. Probably. Shout out to Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, so I drilled the four corners out with a metal bit, and then I just traced it out and cut the basically the template out with a uh, jigsaw. Kristen had to teach me a lesson in patience. <laughs> We're struggling with the roof vent. And then I got paint on my fingers. I went to use the hose to wash it off. And I sprayed water all over myself. It soaked my pants. 
but Kristen's nice nimble little fingers allowed us to fish this wire for the fan. We were able to get it up through the roof here, out the other side, right here, and then we actually just run it down and it pops out now behind here and it's just gonna run all the way across to here. And then we're gonna wire it in by the inverter. Oh, hi there. Hello. What day is it? It's day 27. How many more days does that mean? <laughs> that means we only have three days left to get all this stuff done. Things are shaping up. I showed you this, the kitchen sink. On our roof sent in yesterday, but gotta figure out the power on that. Door. Door. Probably the only reason you should get married, so your wife tells you to put on sunscreen. The only reason. And, uh, <laughs> the only reason to get married. What do you think? Lots to look forward to. You have someone to tell you to put on sunscreen. That's the only reason. Nice 31 degree day for putting the awning on. We always choose the best things to do on the hottest days. Ikea. <laughs> Welcome to day 28. Two days before we leave, which is pretty crazy actually. We're just doing a few little things now. Yesterday, we drove all the way to the further Ikea. It's like an hour drive away for this specific thing. After much, searching and waiting. I wanted it. Yeah, Kristen found it and wanted it to go there because that thing looks pretty nasty and it's pretty hard to deal with. So we got this thing. Gunner for some reason. It's gunner with an N at the end. So it's our little gunner. Any sense? Gunner. What do we got over here? DIY. Table we've gotten mounted, just trying to get the table leg and the latch. Check this out. What's up everybody and welcome to day... 29. 29. 29, feeling fine, that's how old I am. And it's also... <laughs> it's also our second last day of the build. Which means our last full day. Last full day. So we'll today... Get we want to do some flooring. Well, not want to do, have to do. <laughs> so, we did pretty good yesterday, I have to say. Pretty happy with the progress. We got some of the cupboard doors on. Those cupboard doors are ready to go. We made some modifications, because we didn't like how they looked. <laughs> Just has got to work on that bicep strength for those <laughs> magnets. Put this curtain in yesterday, a roller, but we kind of do not like how it does not cover all the window. It only really covers the middle part and leaves the sides. So that's because of this rounded, the rounded form of the window. See that? Yeah, that sucks. Now that I've kind of effed these uh, IKEA rollers, we might just use the fabric from it. I don't know. Fabric seems pretty decent. Might just use cut the fabric and put magnets since all the metal frame of the window is still exposed, so why not use good old Wait, Magnum Fatronics? Look at this absolute beauty. So that flips down. I don't know if you guys recognize that beautiful free Facebook table. We made a table leg. So the table leg we made fits into that. So I just take a spade bit, drill the hole. We bought this leg 
replacement wood leg from Bunnings. This guy. Um, I cut it down and I used a, what was it, a 38 mil, I believe, hole saw to drill down the end of it. Oh yeah, then we whack a little rubber door stop bumper. Comes down, whack the table leg in there, sits on top. Whoa. Boom. Oh, there's even room here I can sit. There you go. Had an issue with the lights, so I was trying to run 12 volt DC power, which would have been fine for the lights because they're 12 volt and they could be DC. But my issue was that I put this dimmer switch and that dimmer switch is an AC 240 volt dimmer. So what I ended up doing was buying one of these little down light transformers. It's up there. So I've stuffed it in there. And I've put it before the first LED. So the key, it's one of these guys. So it's a dimmable LED down light transformer. So it'll transform all the power from 24 volts from the inverter down to 12 volts, which I need for the light. That seems to actually be working now. Um, so now my plugs and my lights will run off the inverter on AC power, which I'm okay with because the inverter will shut down when the batteries reach a certain level. So if I accidentally leave the lights on, it won't completely flatten the battery, which is good. What do you think it's time for? Time for, time for floor. So we left Bunnings at 9.01 p.m. We bought the flooring. We were gonna do it tonight because we gotta leave tomorrow in the morning. And we didn't read the box and what happened? We need primer. So we don't have primer for the floor. And yeah. And True now... story. And now we had a lot of snacks to make up for our... Yeah. This fortune, so we're gonna head to bed. We're gonna get up early. We're gonna get her done. If we have to do it in the Bunnings parking lot, then so be it. So now day 30 is literally down to the wire. Last day. We can do it. We will do it. Nice. All right, so it's day 30. Last day, which means we've got a few things to finish up, which is crazy. <laughs> So I had to run to Bunnings this morning, I was up before 7, got there when they opened, had to buy this primer, which, which is the reason why I couldn't do the flooring last night, which was annoying. Need this primer for the stick-on vinyl. Um, yeah, so I just vacuumed the whole floor, blew it all out, so she's all prepped and ready. I'm gonna whack her down. Only got like an hour and a bit probably to do it. I'm not sure if you guys remember back in the beginning when we first got the van and we were stripping all the stuff out, getting it ready. We had this kind of a protective metal barrier. What I did, this is the other half of it. So that was the one that went the divider between the cab and the back. So it used to be right here, kind of a security thing. So I was gonna just take it to the scrap yard but instead I cut it in half and I cut out kind of a notch right here. And that's because I'm gonna use it on the roof. So it's gonna go up on the roof and it's gonna go right in front of the roof vent. It's gonna be a little roof rack thing. So hopefully it works. So I got some bolts, some plates, I'm gonna bolt it on. Mainly I wanted this to have like an extra jerry can for fuel or anything like that. You just never know when you're gonna need it. And it's a good place to store it out of the way. <laughs> 